Okay, so as usual, I uh, didn't have it in my head to be filming, so I'm halfway through the project. Well, partway through. Anyway, uh, uh, many of you may recognize this style of, uh, of rake. for It's for cutting through, you know, weeds, and it's, for, you know, that's what it does. It gets into the ground, it cuts the weeds, and cuts the, the roots, and does all that, and you can move dirt with it, you can do a bunch of stuff. Anyway, it's all bent up. It's, it's one that was here. Um, but a lot of good old stuff here. And this, as you can see, was bent. I was going to bend it back. I have used it. It works fine. Um, I've got other stuff to do. I'm going to show you pictures of what I'm talking about, but it's called an earth auger. And you can buy them. Um, and uh, it, it's literally a small auger that goes on a, on a drill, like a cordless drill, or even a corded drill, like a 3 8 And you mix soil with it. So I was looking online trying to find them and look, you know, calling around to stores, nobody carries them. Paint mixers, if you know what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's basically just a square shaft like this that goes on your drill and it has like a small, you know, two tine little auger thing in the bottom. I mean, that works great for liquid, even cement when it's still in liquid form. It'll mix that just fine. Um, wasn't sure it was going to do much in soil. Yeah, I could get one at the hardware store. Blah. Anyway, then I remembered this. And, uh, well, it's got these spacers. It's got a shaft. It's got a whole bunch of these. So, what is stopping me from taking a bunch of these? Some of them are already bent, okay? Even that little bend, okay? Now I'll need another set of pliers for this. But what's stopping me from putting a little bend in it, in each side, Okay. Okay. So that's fairly even. I could play with it a little bit more. In fact, when I look at this, these aren't even. One side's longer than the other. Okay, no problem. Anyways, if I do a bunch of these and I put them on the shaft in different positions because of the square shaft and use a bunch of the spacers, I'm probably only going to need, I'm thinking five or six, maybe seven of these on there, hook it to a drill, see how it goes. So that's what I'm doing. So getting these off, as you can see, a little bit of a chore. Some of them will come off to a certain extent. And then it, <clears throat> it hit a wall. <laughs> so when I hit the wall, I fix. over there. I can see it from here. <clears throat> ah, okay. So now, <laughs> get out of there. Okay. Now, want to get this shaft out the rest of the way and uh, it's been a bit of a pain uh, so I need my oh, shit, that's not on there that strong. I put the uh, nuts back on the end just to keep from uh, damaging the threads <clears throat> Okay, 
So, what I'm going to do now is I want to get that off, right? I've only got a little bit to go. I'm going to try a rubber hammer. Not getting my hopes up. this I can straighten it out I can probably find something else to use that for okay um, I've got a couple uh, heavy pieces of uh, tubing here just uh, PVC tubing but they're pretty thick uh, some more of the washers it's on the drill it's there's a screw on this end and um, I'm trying it for, I'm gonna I tried it already you'll get to see it I wanted to put these down so it to see if it would drew, move itself in or out if it was going to pull on me or anything uh, also with the belief that maybe pulling it out uh, so that this is easier I can get it out of things so let's take the camera into the greenhouse where I'm doing the mixing and show you how this works this is the little greenhouse that was on the property when we moved in um, it's a really good little thing I built a ramp for getting the wheelbarrows in and out. I'm using it for propagation. Uh, those two cucumbers are staying right there and they will grow up. Lettuce is doing fine. And uh, here's where I mix my soil. And this is just clay and black dirt out of the ground. And the mosquitoes are out now that we've had so much rain. Okay, so. potting mix. Wow, okay, it's severe. <laughs> it's a little bit too much. Wow, okay. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can... It's a variable speed drill. Let's see if it... Uh... That's better. except for I can hear the motor working pretty hard. So, that's a rock. That's a rock. Okay, we'll let things... Uh... Now, the other thing I'm going to try, I'm going to turn these blades so I have two going down and two going up. And uh, that is just for mixing. So, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but let's try it. So, that works pretty good. It's riding on the nut. I don't know, that's, that's mixing it pretty good. thing I got to look out for is these uh, Lexan sides. I don't want to get too close because I'm pretty sure that will cut the hell out of it. That's mixing the soil pretty good. So I think it's working. Yeehaw. Can you hear the thunder outside? Yeah. <laughs> 